Namaste. Are you stressing about your hair fall, loss of hair, thinning of hair or even graying of hair? We already have so many other stressors. Instead of stressing more about this hair issue, the need of the hour is to fight it. Let us see how with these simple yogic techniques. Yes, you heard me right. I did say simple yogic techniques. So if Shish Asan is not in your daily practice, fret not. Yoga helps in improving blood circulation throughout the body, thus promotes healthy hair and prevents hair fall. When I was undergoing my chemotherapy, I had lost all my upper body strength. A lot of fatigue set in. But I did keep my spirits high and did the following asanas, which I do assure you a hundred percent that will give the same benefits as Shish Asan. Are you ready? Please do kneel on the floor with your big toes touching and sit on the heels. Connect with your core and back straight. Exhale and lay your upper torso down and forward on the ground. Stretch your hands, ensure that your elbows are straight. Keep breathing. Remember, think long and extend your spine rather than arching your back. You may place a thickly folded blanket between hamstrings and calves if you have difficulty sitting on your heels. Please avoid this if you have any knee injuries. If you are pregnant or have high blood pressure, ensure that you keep your knees wide before you go down. With each exhale, release the torso a little more deeply into the fold and relax. For Shoshang Asan, from a kneeling down position, place your top of your head on the mat and ensure keeping your elbows straight, place the palms on your calves. Keep breathing. You will feel a sudden flow of blood to your head. That is exactly what we want. I did this a lot on the hospital bed and taught many of the nurses this as well with a lot of positive feedback. You may leave your comments or feedback in this comment section down below. When it comes to pranayam or breathing exercises for hair growth, Kapalbhati is the number one pranayam as it combats the problem of blood circulation in the whole body thus helping in hair growth. You may start with one minute and gradually build up to three to five minutes. Please do not do Kapalbhati if you are pregnant or have an abdominal injury or surgery. To begin, hold the mudra with one hand and place the other hand on your navel. Inhale through both nostrils and begin continuous quick exhalations through the nostrils with force creating the sound with every exhalation. The exhalation should cause the abdomen to contract while the shoulders and chest should not move too much. Watch the passive inhalations and don't wait for the inhalations to happen as this is done in quick successions naturally. Kapalbhati literally translates to skull shining. And I can vouch for this 100% as even my dark circles which are the after effects of the treatments of chemo and radiation have reduced considerably by simply performing Kapalbhati for just 5 minutes on a daily basis. Please do reach out in the comment section if you do find any challenges while performing Kapalbhati. Moving straight on to Balayam Yoga, which was popularized by Baba Ramdev, is a very simple technique where you curl your fingers inwards and rub the nails vigorously. Rubbing the nails continuously for 5 to 7 minutes can help with hair growth. It also helps in curing dandruffs and prevents premature greying of hair. Are you doing it right away? 
isn't it so simple trust me it is so simple and effective and the beauty is it can be done anytime anywhere simply curl your fingers and rub 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 to be honest good hair is in my genes but after being diagnosed with cancer the fear of losing my hair as an after effects of the harshness of the treatments made me do these asanas religiously and regularly so all in all credit goes to yoga and a healthy balanced diet for my hair health 5 minutes is not too much to ask for from your busy schedule is it What would you wish for us to feature next? Please do comment and also share and like the video if you liked it and thanks for your time.